<laughs> looking for some cool weather. The hot, the hotness is gone. The it's hotness, officially gone. It's officially gone. Yeah. We're officially into fall okay. and heading straight downhill to ski season. So it's looking good here. Uh, we are seeing our weather maker, the cold front passing through. It's long gone now. So we're looking at sunshine tomorrow. This photo by Susan Justice was taking on the Mesa on Sunday. A beautiful day on Sunday. Then we had the cold front roll through today and the Mesa had up to one to two inches of snow across the higher portions up there. Sunshine is in the forecast for tomorrow though, but we are looking at some more snow mid week this week. Overall uh, rain totals not too high with this cold front. Grand Junction picking up trace amounts about three one hundred seven inch rifle coming up with the most rain on this map about two tenths of an inch. Wolf Creek seeing almost that much as well, but overall just some trace amounts of rain during these quick moving storms. A lot of wind. Wind was really our story throughout the day today. So the high and the low and not too far off from each other. 51 degrees for our low today, 66 degrees for our high. Our low is going to be dramatically cooler than that tonight. Temperatures already are 13 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday. 9 degrees cooler in Delta and 10 degrees cooler in Montrose. So you could tell the effects of the cold front. We'll zoom this out in the low pressure system is well to our north. So that means unfortunately for anyone looking for some early skiing, it's looking like the wraparound snow that usually gives some good snowfall totals for the mountains is going to stay well to our north in the states of Montana and Wyoming. We may see a few scattered showers lingering on throughout the day in the northern zones. You can see some right there as well. Maybe a little bit more snow for those northern mountains, but not crazy huge snow totals. Only probably about one to three inches as expected as the slow continues to track right on along. Right now, here's a look at the state satellite radar. You could tell that our skies are clearing. There's still a few isolated flurries as we're heading into the overnight hours, but for the most part, we are nice and clear across the western slope, and we're going to keep it that way. You could see Vail, Aspen areas, seeing some isolated flurries tonight, but those will diminish, and tomorrow we're looking nice and sunny throughout the day. However, let's go back to the effects of the clear skies tonight. Very cool, maybe even chilly, frigid in some places. Temperatures 37 degrees for the low in Montrose. We are looking at 33 in Urine, but notice Gunnison, Silverton, Telluride, even Durango and Cortez dropping into the 20s for an overnight low. Glenwood Springs seeing 30 degrees and Grand Junction staying in the mid to upper 30s across the valley. So these areas, the northern valleys, the southern valleys, and the Gunnison Valley area all seeing freeze warnings in effect for tonight due to these extremely cold temperatures. Grand Junction looking to stay above freezing though. 63 degrees for your high on the beautiful sunny Tuesday. Isolated weather will return. Wednesday into Thursday. But good news, the weekend is looking beautiful. 37 degrees for the low in Montrose uh, and dropping, maybe seeing your first freezing day later this week as well. So be prepared. Headed out to school, it's going to start to get chilly this week. Welcome back. Here's the beautiful view of our gorgeous blue skies at I-70 and Loma. That'll continue to be the case as we head into the overnight hours. Perfect for Friday night football. However, here is one another look at Hurricane Matthew. You can see uh, still just continuing the eye of the storm to track along the coast. Not expected the eye to actually make landfalls. It is currently a category two hurricane, but there's that wraparound motion that is expected once it does become a tropical storm. Here, however, we're, we're not seeing any low pressure. A hurricane system is just a tropical low pressure system. Uh, we're being dominated by the high pressure, which is giving us the beautiful blue skies that we we are seeing and the wonderful weekend we have in store. So here's a look at Montrose. You can see even though San Juan Mountain staying nice and clear as we head into the overnight hours and into tomorrow as well, they'll remain that way. Montrose right now 63 degrees, lots of sunshine there and we are seeing a northwest wind at seven miles per hour. So it's still that chilly wind speed that we are seeing 65 degrees right now in Grand Junction, sunny skies with a northwest wind at eight miles per hour. Relatively dry, but heading into football those temperatures especially as the sun sets right around 7 p.m. actually slightly earlier it's about 648 when the sun starts to set uh, 55 degrees right around kickoff temperatures will quickly drop without that sunshine warming the air to 47 degrees so it's going to be one of those coats and blankets kind of nights 
out at football. Now, uh, Delta, same story. We're going, this just emphasizes how quick that drop is going to go. Once again, this forecast is for Delta. 58 degrees around kickoff, then quickly dropping within the hour to about 47 degrees, keeping clear skies throughout the night. Now, it's going to be another clear and another chilly night, but watches and warnings are not in effect. We do not have any freeze warnings tonight. However, once again, uh, future cast keeping our skies nice and clear. So for your extended forecast in Grand Junction, we are looking about 70 degrees for your Saturday and 73 degrees for your Sunday. I'm going to keep the skies clear, but Sunday night we might start to see an increase in our cloud coverage as we start to see the next approaching storm system. So Monday into Tuesday looking like our best bet for some rain in the Grand Junction area, 73 degrees for the high though. So our rain, our temperatures are going to stay about average for this time of year, uh, but then early storms will be possible once again on Wednesday and Montrose 68 degrees for your high on Saturday, 65 on Sunday, maybe seeing some late rain sneaking into the area there on Sunday night. However, lows will be in the 40s throughout the week. But first tonight, it is going to be another chilly night in Montrose. We are looking at lows dropping into the 30s tonight into Saturday, uh, keeping the storm chances though through Wednesday. So it's a little bit of a possibly rainy week, but Temperatures right there where they're supposed to be. Pretty good weekend, too, though. That's an important part. I know, keeping the sunshine throughout the weekend. Well, here's a look at your weather headlines for here in the Grand Valley. We're looking at a mild day tomorrow. The San Juan Mountains, however, not so mild, a little bit more stormy at that higher elevation and an unsettled weather pattern for the entire western slope will be returning next week. So let's check out our temperatures for tomorrow. 8 a.m. about 50 degrees. So our low temperatures much more about average for this time of year. Not quite as chilly as we were seeing noon 62 degrees, partly cloudy skies, winds relatively calm. We're looking at 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the day and then 5 p.m. about 72 degrees for your high temperature. Now here's a sneak peek at future cast for those San Juan Mountains starting up around lunchtime and then increasing in size and area by about three o'clock in the afternoon and our unsettled weather pattern does mean rain possible for the Grand Junction area. It's looking unlikely on Sunday, but Monday our rain chances increase to 10%. Tuesday we have about a 35% chance to see some of that moisture in our air and then 20% chance on Wednesday before we start to see the return of some sunshine in blue skies headed our way on Thursday. So overall, here is a look right now at satellite radar. You can see we're still seeing some clouds throughout the area. That's going to help keep our overnight lows slightly warmer than the freezing cold temperatures that we have been seeing. Uh, here's a look at the state satellite radar. You can still see those storms. The rain staying right now far to our south, just a Along just south of the border into New Mexico and also into Arizona. We're still seeing that moisture wrapping around and entering southern Colorado by tomorrow. Storms are likely south of I-70. Overall, here is a look at what we are seeing. We're trapped between this high pressure system and this low pressure system. So we're getting some of that tropical moisture, not the same tropical moisture from Hurricane Matthew, but our own tropical moisture from the Gulf of Mexico being pushed into our region, changing our weather pattern for the next couple of days. Hurricane Matthew is right over here, just like you were seeing in there earlier in the show, right along South Carolina, entering Virginia Beach area seeing some of the remnants and, and storms from Hurricane Matthew as well. It is forecast to start to move away from the Gulf or from the Atlantic coast uh, tomorrow throughout the day. Three miles per hour is our wind speed in Grand Junction. Also in Delta, eight miles per hour in Montrose. Overall, tonight in Grand Junction, we are looking at a low of about 46 degrees with these partly cloudy skies. Here's a look at future cast. Those storms starting throughout the San Juan Mountains early around lunchtime, very isolated throughout the Central Mountains as well. And we are looking at about 1.30 p.m. Then tomorrow, lingering on into 6.30, maybe a storm sneaking into the Montrose area as well. Those storms will die out as we head into the overnight hours. Highs across the region, 73 degrees in Palisade, 72 in Grand Junction, 73 in Fruta as well. We're seeing mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies across this northern area of western Colorado, headed further south. That's where the storms are more likely. Montrose has a slight 
chance for storms. San Juan's very likely hiking in this area. Not such a good idea tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. You might beat the storms if you head out early in the morning. 62 degrees for the high in Durango. So in Montrose, mild conditions, 66 degrees for your high with that chance for rain. We'll take a breakdown of your day by day forecast. 44 degrees uh, starting out at 6 a.m. Those temperatures will warm well into the 60s with the high of 66 degrees. But that's also 6 p.m. is going to be your best chance for showers before we head back into the 50s by 9 p.m. Thunderstorms will continue the chance at least Tuesday and Wednesday. Slimmest chance we're looking the most dry on Monday, but still isolated chances continuing. Pleasant conditions as we head into Friday and next Saturday as well. These temperatures, uh, they're mild and they're right on average for this time of year. 72 degrees for the high in Grand Junction. The lows right there in the 40s and 50s. So we are looking at a nice week in terms of the temperature, but you are going to want to have your umbrella handy early in the week before things start to clear up Thursday and into Friday.